Right. They're just taking off. Here's the one thing that I hate. I talk to a lot of other restaurant owners, a lot of other business owners. And we, when we start talking shop and start talking about the ideas and stuff, it drive, this drives me crazy. When they say, oh, I know that. Oh, I know that. Everything you say, they already know, right? <laughs> it's like, it's like, it's like, not that they're too embarrassed, but they're too modest or something. They're too embarrassed to say, hey, I don't know that. Tell me more about that. And especially chefs. Chefs are always like at each other. Chefs can have, have attitudes and tempers, um, not only about guests and, and their employees, but with other chefs. They really headbutt because chefs are, you know, very, very temperamental, very territorial and temperamental. So it's just, it's amazing when you start talking to other chefs, it's just like, well, I already know that. And this and, oh yeah, I know that. Yeah, I know that. You know it, then why aren't you doing it? Like, if you know that, just why aren't you... Uh, uh, like like implementing it and doing it. We belong to a mastermind group, um, Jamie and I. And we've been doing this for, what, eight years now, Jamie? Long time. Eight years. We go to this group and nobody says, and these are all high-level restaurant owners, all high-level independent restaurant owners that are successful. Some of them have two, three, four, five locations. Some of them are franchising. Some of these, some of these guys know what they're doing. You never hear them say that, do you, Jamie? You never hear them say, oh, I already know that. Right, no, we're always willing to learn <laughs> They don't more. say that. They don't say that at all. If, if they know it, they're like, well, the first thing they say is, well, how was your experience with that? Or how do you do it? Or, or what? yeah, I was doing that too. What, what, can we share ideas and can we grow from it? I think that's what a successful restaurateur needs to do. Or a successful business Business person. owner. Business, I keep saying restaurateur, business owner. If you go to our website, 50mistakes.com, it's for restaurants, but it's for any type of business, really. You can go there and learn and, and, and get all kinds of free advice, watch the videos and do the download. But, you know, so we were paying, what, almost $1,000 for that mastermind group when we first joined it. And we go in there. And we know a lot when we go in there, but we go in there and nobody in that group is saying, oh, I already know that. I don't need to know that. But you talk to somebody else in your area or, or you know, you're going visiting somebody. Oh, I know that. I, I, the first thing, oh, I know that. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know that. I know that. I know that. Totally different mindset, people. You, you, your business is your baby and your business is, you know, you have to be willing to improve it every single moment you can, whether it's free or whether you're paying for it. So anybody out there running a business, the next time before you say, oh, I already know that, and turn the other person off, what they're saying, you really need to think and say something like, hey, I have heard about that or I have done that. How did you do it? And let's compare notes. Maybe we can both improve our execution. You know, you, oh, you did the, we did the same promotion. Yeah, that's great. How are your results on your promotion compared to my results? Or, oh yeah, I do inventory every month. You do inventory every month. What's your biggest challenge doing inventory and, and where do you save time and where do you save money doing inventory? So now you can start collaborating, but it's just like always like, but, 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 head, but I can't stand that when you talk to other people in the industry and you're out there talking shop, even on your leisure. It's just amazing how closed minded people can be and how, I, I guess it's territorial, territorial, and sometimes sometimes downright pompous. Some people can be. You know, I've met a lot of chefs along the way who just, you know, they they could barely give you the time of day. You know, it's just like, oh, who are you? You know, and go to 50mistakes.com, check out all the other videos over there, sign up for my emails. There's a free downloadable book there. There's some bunch of other things there too, some audios. Go check it out, 50mistakes.com.